morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Professor Sistrunk, and I'm reaching out to the student body. Okay, students, welcome back to the channel. It seems like we got a nice little project to work on here. Nothing really serious. Um, let's look at what we got here. 44 Packet Tracer Configure a Wireless Router and Client. We're going to do some connecting devices we're going to configure a wireless router and then we're going to configure some ip addresses in this scenario which i suggest everyone read it's just basically talking about friend needing help to do a setup in their home so let's go ahead and knock out the first part of it connect the coaxial cable okay so we got in the network components click connection locate and click the coaxial cable Click the cable splitter and then we're going to go coaxial one and click the cable modem and then port zero. And we're going to repeat this coaxial two on the cable modem to port zero on the TV. So let's do that part. Let's get the first part out the way. Let's go look at what we got here. So as you can see, we got a nice little setup going over here. So we're going to come down here to this little blue squiggly line, which is coaxial. And we're going to go over here to this cable splitter. And we're going to click on that. And we're going to say coaxial 1. Then we're going to come over here to the cable modem, which is right here. And we're going to click on that. And we're going to say port 0. Now let me check and make sure I got the right port. It says cable splitter, port, uh, coaxial 1 and then cable modem port zero i hit the right one now let's go back and finish it up now we're gonna come get the blue and we're gonna come over here to the box again and we're gonna click on coaxial two and then we're gonna go to the tv and we're gonna get port zero and we got it going i'm gonna go ahead and push this button a little see what we got so I'm going to check because that looked like it's a little red, but let me go check and make sure I set it up right. It says here, repeat the previous steps to connect coaxial 2 on the cable modem to port 0 on the TV. We did that, but we got, we got F right here. It says click the TV and then click on your status. Okay, I didn't see that. If your connections are correct, you should see an image. So let's go to back to the TV. I'm gonna click on the TV. Okay, it says click the TV. It's turned off. We're gonna turn turn on the status. There it is. It's working. Okay, now that we did that, let's go ahead and finish this up. We're gonna move over here to the document. We're gonna go down here. Now in step two, it says connect the network cables. So we wanna click connections and uh, then click copper straight through cable it looks like a solid black line so we're gonna go ahead and shrink down that so we have right here copper straight through we're gonna click that where do we want us to go it says here click the office PC and connect to the cable to the fast Ethernet port locate the home wireless router and click it we're going to click Giger Ethernet port 1. Okay, let's go to do that. PC right here, and we're going to go fast Ethernet. And from there, we're going to go to the cable modem. We're going to get the Ethernet 1. We knocked that out. Yay! So we went from copper straight through, PC, office PC home wireless router and we got that it says repeat the previous steps to connect the bedroom to the giga ethernet port 2 on the home wireless router so let's go do that too so we're gonna come get another cable cord copper straight through i'm gonna take the home wireless router hopefully that won't keep jumping down on me i'm gonna go to two and then i'm gonna go to the pc here fast ethernet so we got that speed it up let's go back to it so we did that on the wireless router and it says for the home wireless router to access the internet over the cable tv provider network the cable modem must be connected to the home wireless router internet port this is also done with a copper straight through cable connect port one to the cable modem and then to the internet of the wireless home router. So 
Let's see if we can do that. It appears that we're gonna come right here and we're gonna get the cable, this cord here. And it looks like we're gonna click on here, go to the internet, and then click right here. And we're gonna click the port. And we got it all shining green. Looks good, people, looks good. Let's take a look at that. So we get it all right for the home wireless router, access cable TV provider network, the cable modem. So we got all that together. Let's move down a little and see what we got right here. Configure the wireless router. Most home wireless routers are configured by using a graphical user interface. That is uh, access through the computer web browser so we're gonna do that part here we're gonna access the home wireless router GUI uh, click office PC desktop and then IP address let's go take a look at that we're gonna go to office PC right here and we're gonna go of course to desktop and it looks like we're going to IB config okay that looks good IP config it says click DHCP on the office PC and we're gonna say DHCP it should give us some IP addresses and you can see it did excellent let's go back over here so we did that it says after a brief delay we will get an IP address okay so that pretty much took care of that note IP address is the default gateway it says make a note of the address for the default gateway the default gateway is the device that provides devices on the network home network with access to outside networks such as the internet case study and all that so let's go get that uh default gateway real quick this is the default gateway 192.168.1 not zero dot one i can remember that that's nothing to remember just make sure you remember your default gateway uh let's go down it says keeping the office pc window open close the ip config window and then click the web browser enter in ip address on the home wireless router default gateway so that that's why they wanted you to remember it so i'm gonna close this Go to web browser, click that and open it up. And I'm going to go 192.168.0.1. And then I'm going to go over here and just click go. Okay, now that we have this right, which is good, which is good, let's go ahead and put the username and a password in and as you can see okay now let's go ahead and grab this username and password so the admin i'm gonna grab that we'll come back over here put that in tab down paste it in and we're in here we completed that task let's move to the next thing okay now that we have this configured let's go back and look at our instructions configure basic settings it says in this step you will configure a new username and password for the wireless router and limit the number of ip addresses that dhcp will issue you are currently viewing configuration options uh, under the setup tab locate the network setup area this is where you will configure the router dhcp server settings locate the maximum number of users field enter 10 so let's see if we can find a maximum number of users field so here's the network setup and we're gonna come down here we got enable IP addressing maximum number of users or 10 we taking out 50 and putting 10 so now that we did that it says scroll down to the bottom of the page and click save settings so we're gonna go down save settings okay settings have been saved okay let's go back and see what's next no is 
it is possible that you will lose your connection to the router click go in the web browser to uh, reload so let's go check that out let's see if we lost connection yes we did okay so let's go back to the instructions okay uh, click go in the web browser to reload the GUI page you will need to close the web browser click IP configuration and toggle between DHCP and static to refresh the IP address for the office so let's go do that it wants us to close this uh, go to IP I'm gonna go to static and I'm gonna go back here got it toggling it gives us pretty much the same information but now that we did that static uh, of your addressing office then uh, it says verify P uh, office PC has an IP address configuration with 192 and then go back to the browser so let's go back to the browser real quick okay we're gonna close this click on the browser and get that open uh, this time when we type this in it's gonna be one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot two if i'm not mistaken that should be the ip address uh no my fault we're gonna go back to the default gateway and there we go so we got back into the default gateway okay it says click the administration tab here Oh, add man it says and re add man add man so we got to put add man in remember last time this was the IP the username and password let's go ahead and throw that in okay we're back we're back in here let's go back to the instructions see what we got here it says click the administration tab where here you can change the admin password enter the confirm my password one in the new column I'm gonna take this copy of this because that's if I'm gonna change it I want to make sure it goes in correct and then we got to do the save settings and you will be prompt to log in again and we got to just go with this okay so let's go ahead and do that so we can close this out okay so I'm gonna go to the administrative tab it would be up here somewhere administration then we're gonna change the password of course you see me take a copy of it and I'm gonna come down here and save that now it wants me to log back in so I go to go add man once I put add man I'm going to go ahead and put in the password so we can get back in there we are back okay with that being said Let's go back to our instructions. So we covered all of this pretty much. Okay, so we are back with step three, configure a wireless LAN. And it's really simple with this. Most of you have already did this at home, so you know how to do it. You have completed this task many times inside of your own home. So basically, we're gonna go to wireless tab, then we're gonna go 2.5 gigahertz and enable it. Then we're gonna go to default and put in the name. We're gonna save it, and from saving it, uh, we're gonna have the my home network. And basically, let's go do that so we can get that out the way. So if you paid attention to it, we left from setup, which we was here, and administrative, where we made changes there, and now we at wireless. So once we did that completed that task it says now you will be configuring security in my home network this will prevent unauthorized people from connecting the network okay so let's come down here as we notice that the security is currently disabled on three wireless networks you are only using 2.4 gigahertz um, this is and select 2.4 so it says click the drop down menu for the 2.4 gigahertz and network and select personal. So let's go do that right now. So we're gonna come down here to 
the drop down menu. I thought I put my network in here. Let me do that again. My home. Let me check that and make sure that's correct. I thought I already did that. Let's go back up here. My home. Yeah, my home. My home. Let me go down and save that. See what we got. Okay, it's good now. Okay, so we made the changes. My home. And we got enable. Okay, so everything looks good. Now let's go over to the wireless security and go back over here. And we see that we want to change that wireless security to like right here. It says scroll back to the top of the window, click wireless security. We're going to change that to WPA personal. So let's go do that. 2.4. WPA2 personal. There we go. Let's see if there's any other changes we got to make. So once we do WPA2 personal, this is strong enough. And we just going to put a passphrase in there. Let's see what that passphrase is going to be right here. I'm going to cut that out. It says more settings are revealed. WPA2 person requires a passphrase. So let's go put a passphrase in there. So we got passphrase right here. We're going to drop that in. There you go. Let's get that little period out because that would be a problem. Okay. Once we put the passphrase in, let's come down here. It says, um, all we got to do is say, uh, save settings and close the browser window for a PC. Let's go back to that. Come down, save settings, check and make sure everything's changed, it is, and we're gonna now close it. There we go. So, we have configured that. Now, the rest of this is configuring IP address and testing it. You know how to do configure IP addresses. Uh, we can go to we can go to office PC desktop web browser uh, enter this here and click go after a brief delay we should see a web page I am not going to jump into these particulars because I know you guys know how to do this this is basically just changing the IP address and plus I want to leave some work for you <laughs> to finish it off uh, let me see. I'm gonna go mess with this though. I'm gonna go office PC desktop web browser. So let's do that. We at the office PC already. Yeah, we still here. And we're gonna go to desktop. And then we're gonna go back to web browser here. Okay, we're back at the web browser. Now let me make sure I chose the office PC desktop that wants me to type in this here and click go uh, let's, let's see if the web page appears so I'm gonna bring this down I'm gonna click right here paste it click go it looks like it changed but let's see how long it takes it says it will take a minute so we're gonna come back over here fast forward time if we wanted to loading an external web page verifies that the PC connectivity of the PC okay let's see if that happened um, it is welcome to skills for all that is right there that was real something real quick and fast you can do the same thing with the uh, with the laptop but I'm gonna close it off right here because mainly the rest of this is pretty much the same so we successfully completed this task you see everything is working lit up jumping around I'm gonna click the fast track and it's actually doing extremely well so I hope I hope that this helped you out and this is Professor Sistrunk. Don't forget to like and share, and I'll see you in the next video log.